Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our biology playlist. In the last video, we had an introduction about the muscles and we focused on the skeletal muscles. We talked about the muscle, the muscle fascicles, the muscle fibers or myofibers, and the muscle fibrils and the myofilaments, which include thin filaments known as actin, thick filaments known as myosin, intermediate filaments known as desmin. Today we'll compare among skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, and smooth muscles. Voluntary, involuntary, involuntary, somatic nervous system, autonomic nervous system, autonomic nervous system. This is my biology playlist. Please watch these videos in order. We can divide your muscles into striated. They do have striations like this and non-striated or smooth. The striated are subdivided into skeletal muscles such as your biceps, triceps, quadriceps, etc. Or cardiac muscle, that's your heart. Example of smooth muscles is your stomach, your small intestine, your vessels. Skeletal muscles are voluntary, i.e. supplied by the somatic nervous system, and each muscle cell contains many nuclei, i.e. multinucleated. How about the cardiac muscle? Involuntary, supplied by autonomic nervous system. The fibers are branched. Each muscle fiber has one nucleus only, so it's mononucleated. Smooth muscles, non-striated, autonomic, involuntary, and mononucleated. Do you remember your skeletal muscle fiber? Each fiber contains fibrils. Each fibril is organized like this, and the area between the two successive Z lines is known as the sarcomere. If you have any problem with these concepts, please watch the previous video. Upon contraction, as we said before, the A band is not gonna change in length, the I band will shorten, the H zone will shorten, the entire sarcomere will shorten, the entire muscle fibril will shorten, the entire muscle fiber will shorten, and your entire stinking muscle will shorten, bringing the insertion closer to the origin, hashtag contraction. Pause and review. Now let me tell you something unique. This thing is absent in skeletal muscles. And this is the gap junction, also known as nexus. Not to be confused with the smartphone brand. Here is the lovely gap junction spanning the area between successive smooth muscle fibers, as you see here. It doesn't have to be smooth muscles. They could be cardiac muscles as well. Anything but skeletal muscles. The purpose of that gap junction is to communicate all of these fibers together. Why is this important? Because as soon as a nerve fiber stimulates the first muscle fiber, the nerve impulse will be transmitted very quickly. And those three muscle fibers will contract together simultaneously as one singular muscle unit and this is called syncytium from synchrony from symphony this is how both of your ventricles contract at the same time now let's compare among the three types skeletal muscles versus cardiac muscles versus smooth muscles striated striated non-striated non-branching branching non-branching non voluntary involuntary involuntary the only type that is multinucleated is skeletal muscles however cardiac and smooth muscles are uninucleated each muscle cell contains one nucleus only nerve supply since i am voluntary i am somatic since i'm involuntary i am autonomic since i'm involuntary i'm autonomic what do you mean by autonomic sympathetic and parasympathetic and in case of the gut, enteric nervous system. If I cut your nerve fiber, can you contract as a muscle? Skeletal muscle said no. Cardiac muscle said yes, we do have automaticity. Smooth muscle said yes, we do have an enteric nervous system. So even after you cut the sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers, your heart muscles and your gut muscles will still be able to contract at least for a while. Troponin is present in skeletal muscles and in cardiac muscles, but absent in smooth muscles. And therefore, if I have a patient and this patient has chest pain and I'm confused, I cannot tell whether the pain is coming from the heart, this is a heart attack, or whether the pain is coming from the esophagus, as in diffuse esophageal spasms. How can I tell the difference? Easy, order troponin in the patient's blood. If it's high, that's a cardiac pain. 
If it's normal, that's a diffuse esophageal spasm. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Gap junction is absent in skeletal muscles, present in cardiac and smooth muscles, more abundant in cardiac muscles, of course. Example of skeletal muscles, biceps, triceps, quadriceps. Examples of cardiac muscles is your heart, of smooth muscles is the muscles in the wall of the stomach, the intestine, the vessel wall, the uterus, etc. Pause and review. Smooth muscles, everything is no. No sarcomeres, no striations, no branches, not voluntary, no troponin, no T-tubules, no sarcoplasmic reticulum. But we do have something unique called calmodulin, which is a calcium modulating protein. Love it. Somatic nervous system is for skeletal muscles. Autonomic nervous system is for cardiac and smooth muscles. Please pause and review. Cardiac muscles do have automaticity in the SA node and AV node. So even if I cut the nerves that are connected to the heart, the heart on its own will still be able to contract and beat. Similarly, your gastrointestinal tract has an enteric nervous system. So even if you cut the vagus and the great and lesser splanchnic nerves, your gut will still be able to contract for a while thanks to the enteric nervous system, which is made of myenteric for motility and submucosal for secretions. Okay, mitocosis, then what is the purpose of sympathetic and parasympathetic here? They are coordinators. You can boost contraction or decrease contraction. You can boost secretion or decrease secretion, but you do not get to initiate contraction because it's intrinsic in these types of muscles. If you want a cool website with some really nice animations to help you memorize, check out Picmonic, the link is in the description. Let's review muscle types from Picmonic. Muscle is Mayo, so here is Mayo. Let's talk about skeletal muscles. As you see, they are multinucleated, they are striated, and they are supplied by the somatic, somotic, nervous system. Next, we have cardiac muscle, uninucleated, also striated, and they do have a gap junction. Third, smooth muscles, uninucleated, not striated, they do have a gap junction. If you want to be an excellent student, bring out a blank piece of paper and write everything here down in your own handwriting. Bonus points if you can do it from memory. That's it for today. If you like this video, you will enjoy my renal physiology course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have a cardiac pharmacology course and an utacoids pharmacology course to learn about the medications used for the gut, such as proton pump inhibitors. I also have a surgery high yields course and emergency medicine high yields as well. Get a 50% discount towards any course by using discount code ARDS. May your lungs never be in distress. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here, or you can click on the thanks button under this video. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.